Hello everyone, this is Serafira, and welcome to Life is Feudal. So, Life is Feudal has decided to wipe. We've already started over in a totally new area of land. It's a lot easier to uh, terraform instead of the mountain that we used to be on. Uh, we've got already got our um, little town, base, whatever you want to call going. Uh, we've got enough for uh, six people at the moment. What we're going to upgrade these soon so that more people can get houses. Got some trees planted inside. We've got our forge going. Got a warehouse going. We've got I don't know, just one um, tanning or drying frame and a, a tanning tub going. Haven't decided if this is where I'm going to put the coop yet or not, but uh, this is currently where we are. Not going to show where that is on the map. <laughs> this is a PvP game. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, seven. I guess somebody else made a house while I was away. Um, but uh, the other thing th that happened with the wipe is uh, um, the developers kind of screwed up. They didn't wipe everything like they were supposed to. So if I turn on the graph here for the land plots and turn on friendly size for claim. Normally you can see like a border of two squares in between claims. Unfortunately it looks like this claim was upgraded. Uh, thief claim whatever was upgraded before we got to it and uh, it isn't showing the border. So I don't know if there's one border on the claim that I'm sitting in now that's been upgraded and one on the one that we have chosen. So that uh, supposedly the devs have decided, oh, they're going to quote unquote fix that. And the exact words they said was on claims that have not been taken yet, which would be this one, but ours, reading that exactly as they said, you would think that our claim should be fine, quote unquote should be. So the thing is, and we can rebuild it pretty quick, we're finally starting to get enough trees growing that by the time the walls decompose, we should be able to fix all this, move the wall back one or possibly two squares, and uh, fix that. But it's extremely annoying when, number one, uh, they decide that, oh, hey, this is an MMO, and we're going to totally wipe everything. So the game's been going on well over a year, and uh, people who've spent, well, well over a year, and multiple, multiple people, like we do, um, building these these things uh, is all gone. Uh, so on this side of the claim we've got some trees going uh, and our farmland. Um, there are some trees inside obviously that I think you guys saw. So um, hopefully this isn't giving too much away. We've got peas going here and then uh, we've got flax and potato but I haven't had chance to do the grain yet. Um, anyway, I think you guys could piece together uh, where we are with uh, some visuals and things like that. Um, we're not really active PvPers, uh, but we do fight on occasion. But yeah, so I guess we'll see. But right now, um, what I'm going to do is just go gather some slate uh, and because I'm kind of building um, roads I guess you call it per per square tile inside um, so that uh, number one we can run faster inside and number two uh, once we finally get the uh, horse cart done or trader cart or whatever it is with wheels 
it's not going at 75% speed, but actually with a slight road, it'll be going at 1.3, um, so 30% faster than normal rate. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab some slate. I will probably uh, cut back when I'm back in base. Um, and then maybe some of the other guild members will be on or around. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a bit. structure I guess is what you want to call it of inside the base um, just putting down slate roads get it all to a nice level we want it I think we're eventually gonna take down these furnaces anyway and put up better quality um, kind of have to build get some basic tools and then tear it back down again And then in order to improve the quality of uh, your tools and improve the quality of your um, buildings at the same time, uh, the higher the quality of the buildings, like in this instance, like the forge, the higher quality tools or whatever it is you're building will spit out of it. Um, for lack of a better word, spit out. Um, also, with a higher quality comes higher building hit points. So that when, if you ever do get raided, uh, it'll be harder to uh, take down your buildings. And of course, the walls are important to be high quality as well, which is why I'm using a mallet. Um, but I'm using, I don't need high quality tools to mine or a high quality shovel to dig. Uh, it is faster though. Um, but yeah, so I don't really need that higher quality. As you can see, uh, maybe it's harder to tell. Let's try to go in a straight line here. It is a little bit faster, run, run, run. 
and a slight slow, uh, but that's running speed. It's mostly you're mostly making roads for your uh, wheeled vehicles, so your horse cart, your trader cart, uh, things like that, which hold a lot more equipment. Uh, not that you need that a lot inside, but that 0.1 to 10% run speed increase may help you when you're trying to get from one uh, lookout position to another to uh, shoot down uh, an enemy. So I like to put it, and so does a couple of the other people in the guild. Like, well, I see a lot of people when they're building their base put down um, roads. But since we have slate nearby, we're going to go with slate. It is a little bit harder to find, um, but uh, the speed improvement is much better, although that's only for cart speed. For running speed, any type of road will do. Uh, according to the wiki anyway. Uh, slate, which is what I've got here, which is the highest, is uh, is the same as marble roads, is the same as stone roads. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to go get some more slate, and I'll probably see you guys uh, in a bit. I'm just going to keep on working on this. I don't think you're really interested in seeing me keep on building roads inside the base. So, alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've changed characters, um, but as you can tell, um, Slate Road is coming along inside. Uh, the coop is created, and we've got a couple chickens and rabbits in there. Not much. And we have been working on, I don't know, uh, it's not really a bridge, uh, a road uh, coming into the claim and heading to our allies. So really quick. Uh, going to come into here eventually. I'm going to rework all that, make um, what I like to call killing boxes, uh, that if you do actually come in through that door, which I don't, I think most people don't actually come in through the front door. They come in through some, a piece of the wall, but whatever. Um, and we've got a slate road going towards our allies, um, which are, eh, eh off that way. So, I think that's where I'm going to call this one, guys. Uh, I'll give you an update, I guess, maybe in a few days, next week, who knows, maybe after the, whatever this patch is coming tomorrow, if it's going to uh, screw with our walls, I don't know. But, uh, as always, guys, really, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there's not a whole lot of action going on with Life is Futile, but um, stay safe, stay, stay healthy, and I will talk to you next time. See you, everyone.